disrupting the signal from the noise. It's the Cube, covering Oracle Open World 2015. Brought to you by Oracle. Now your hosts, John Furrier and Jeff Frick. Hey, welcome back everyone. We are here live in San Francisco for exclusive coverage of Oracle Open World on Howard Street. They're shutting it down, the clouds are rolling in, the wind's blowing, yesterday was hot, today's hot. 60,000 attendees here where they shut down Howard Street. This is where theCUBE is located. This is theCUBE SiliconANGLE's flagship program where we go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE. I'm Jeff Frick, GM of theCUBE. Our next guest is Dan Miller, SVP of ISV and the OEM business at Oracle as well as managing the go-to-market for Java. Uh, welcome to theCUBE, great to have you. Thanks guys, thanks for having me. Um, we'd love to chat with the people leading the charge here. Obviously, um, you know, the theme here, obviously cloud, integrated cloud, but applications and platform services. It's a platform now, it's enabling a lot of great yeah. opportunities. We see Oracle trotting out their applications, you know, ERP, CRM, HCM, all going to the cloud. At the same time in today's keynote, you saw openness, the ecosystem. So ISVs are a critical part of this ecosystem more than ever, kind of like the 80s boom, where the ISV market really lifted up the client server. We're seeing signs here at Oracle Open World in the industry, the ISVs have a huge opportunity. Share your thoughts and color into the magnitude of the opportunity, what you're seeing, just some anecdotes, what's happening? Well, first of all, thanks for having me on. And when you say, um, you know, I'm helping to lead the charge, Actually, you know, Oracle, what it's doing, I think is leading a charge in the transformation with its applications, its infrastructure, with its services, and certainly its people. But as Larry Ellison talked about uh, the other day, Oracle cannot do that on its own. So to me, the other complement of people that are leading that charge are Oracle partners, and specifically the partners that I think are right at the tip of the spear there are independent software vendors, I and think. especially those who are using Java technology. So applications to me are what companies ultimately make their decisions on, and I totally believe in Oracle's applications, and I believe in several thousand Oracle ISVs that have tens of thousands of applications that are also going to lead that charge, and we're going to do that together in an integrated yeah. ecosystem. And the Java one was on Sunday. We were here broadcasting live on theCUBE. We heard a lot of the content. We saw Scott McNeely make an appearance, made a cameo. Yeah. 20 years, I mean, made me feel old. I mean, you know, I was already graduated from college by then, but I remember when Java hit the scene, it yeah. really did well. But now the young guns are looking at Java as that heavy forklift tool or the heavy machinery. And there's a lot of cool languages out there, Node, Go, a lot of, a lot of sexy stuff out there for certain use cases like real time, but Java still is the staple of, of the heavy lifting going on for analytics uh, in the enterprise. I think it's still the staple. It is the development platform of choice still in the world preeminently. And what you're bringing up is why um, I'm responsible for the two groups together. You'd say, why do we have our ISV uh, team and our Java team together? It is because at the root of almost all the important applications in the world, there is a, J a Java engine. There is a Java developer there. So we want to have our Java team as closely connected to our ISV team internally as possible, but more importantly, we want to make sure that our ISVs are getting the latest, greatest development technologies going forward into the future. And rest assured, all of our ISVs with their strategic applications are going to use and leverage Java going forward. And that's why I'm glad we still have Java One and Op uh, Oracle uh, Open World together at the same time. At our weekly meetings on the Silicon Angles research team at Wikibon, we always talk about the cloud, but what's coming up more and more in the cloud business for success is the ISV market. Yeah. And not a lot of people are paying attention to, and I don't say you guys, but like in the industry, it's not, no one shines a light on the ISV market, but that service channel is a huge opportunity. Um, talk about how that is affecting your role, and what are some of your objectives sure. for next year? Well, first of all, I'm paying attention to it for <laughs> sure. You, uh, and, uh, you're smart. That, that's one of the reasons why. <laughs> you're on the queue. <laughs> <laughs> that's, well, I'll tell you personally, that's why a uh, big reason why I joined Oracle. So I just joined about six months ago. I've known Oracle for uh, my 30 years in the industry. But one, I was excited about Oracle's transformation. But two, um, Larry, Safra, Mark, the company is interested in the ISV business. And I just said, I want to work with Oracle and I want to work on things that are interesting and relevant. The ISV business absolutely is relevant uh, to Oracle because it's what customers are looking for. They're looking for the greatest, 
uh, wealth or plethora of choices, which gets back to, can Oracle do that on its own? They can't. So we have several thousand ISVs. Um, I'm uh, proud and thrilled to be a part of that business. What we're focused on going forward really is kind of three areas. One is just making sure we're producing the best architectural designs uh, with and for our ISVs. Um, number two is just help them get that to market in scale. And the big scale factor is cloud. Uh, and that's been the focus of our ISV work this week and all of uh, open world. And then the third thing is to make sure there is that vibrant, dynamic, bilateral ecosystem. Because we get a lot out of what the ISVs are doing for our customers, but we also have a lot of strategy and um, investment in technology that go directly into the ISV. So we want to make sure that's going back and forth as a, its own ecosystem. Those are the three main things that we're focused on right now. So Dan, I want to dig into your comment about Oracle transforming itself and that yeah. part of the excitement that brought you here. You know, there's a lot of big players that have been around for a long time. IBM, obviously the Dell uh, acquisition of EMC. So the, the big incumbents have to transform just like their, their customers are going through this digital transformation. Yeah. But then you look at these big, how do they transform? How do they shift? So what were some of your observations when you, you saw this transformation coming to Oracle that gave you the confidence and, and back your decision to come here? Well, first of all, I, I totally respect the success and the legacy that Oracle's created with over 400,000 customers over the past several decades. I've, I've, just, I've partnered with Oracle, I've teamed with Oracle, uh, sometimes I've competed with Oracle in the past. I don't, I don't like that part, so I wanted to join into the team. So I respect the past, and we've talked with a lot of our ISVs this week that are similar to Oracle. Decades of success uh, in a, a business that's been created over a long period of time. Companies like Temenos or Cerner or uh, Philips, Manhattan and Associates. We all have something in common, a long-term legacy of success. At the same time, I want to be part of the next generation of what's happening in the industry. And that transformation, it's a fact. It's not a, it's not a thought, it's not a concept. The cloud is transforming the way companies will work. It'll transform the way we live and play as well. So what captivated me about Oracle is they're not just going to rest on the success they've had, they're going to take billions and billions of dollars of investment, tens of thousands of smart people, and actually be a part of leading that transformation. That was the single biggest reason why I wanted to join and be a part of Oracle. And then when I had the opportunity to work with our ISVs and our Java teams, that was just icing on, on the cake. I would have joined the company anyway, but the assignment itself is totally strategic and interesting because those partners are going to be part of that ecosystem driving the transformation. You know, you're, I really think you're really on it. You're right on the money there. I think the ISV is going to be a competitive advantage because the, it's now a platform. It's not just Oracle as an app and having stuff underneath the app. It's horizontal platform, but vertically integrated solutions. This is the cloud. The cloud is all about that. So you got to have people run on Oracle, and you got and it's going to be third party. That's cool. That's the ISV. So I have to ask you, how are you guys helping the software uh, vendors that you're partnering with get to the cloud? Because sure. channels are very strategic. Obviously, direct sales, Oracle's got that covered. Check the box there, extremely successful. Indirect, big opportunity. Yeah. At the end of the day, I, I want to make money. What's in it for me? I'm a software developer. Sure. Dan, what's in it for me? How are you going to help me keep my customers and make me more cash? Well, the first thing that we're going <laughs> to do is make sure we are ensuring the success that they've had with Oracle in the past. There are thousands of partners who have bet their companies or their business on things like the Oracle database, Oracle Mid middleware, they're leveraging Oracle applications. So um, I don't want to take our eye off the ball there. So that's going to fuel our transformation going forward. My second thought is we have literally hundreds and hundreds of partners saying, I'm ready to go, I'm going to double down on Oracle, but help me get into that uh, cloud business or the cloud transformation. So what we're doing is a couple things on that. One of them is for the last several months, we have um, taken our platform as a service portfolio and we're giving that out to partners um, for them to freely and easily access and just go for a test drive. We're so confident that they're going to like it, we just wanted to get it in their hands. So that's the first thing. We have uh, over a thousand partners already in trial with our plat 
platform as a service technology. The second thing is, thanks to the cooperation and teaming with Thomas Curian, who runs engineering for Oracle, he's saying, let's get our best and brightest engineers directly in contact with our largest or most strategic ISVs who are going through that transformation. So we're enabling direct uh, engineer to engineer engagement, which is typical classic Oracle kind of uh, development roll up your sleeves uh, work. Uh, so that's the second thing. The third thing is just one to one kind of engagement with our top partners. I've had 20, 25 meetings already in the last two days with partners. Uh, Philips, Manhattan, Temenos, Nokia, and to a person they're not saying, should we do this or when are we going to do it? They're saying, how do we do it? And that's what we're working on right now, which is really the implementation of our plans. It's yeah. not the concepts. They're ready so to they're get engaged. going. They're engaged. They're engaged. They're so, they want to put the pedal to the metal. What's most exciting about that, they're so engaged that they're saying, hurry up, catch up with yeah. us, get we on. We want more. 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 We want more. It's not a question of if. Yeah. There's only two companies that I can think of that they'll talk to like yeah. that. One is Microsoft. Microsoft has a SaaS, a PaaS, and an infrastructure kind of suite of things. But Oracle's the preeminent company with that fully integrated set of offers from SaaS to PaaS to infrastructure. And we have the connection into the enterprise, that mission critical enterprise that no other company has. Dan, we're hearing the same thing. We're hearing the, the theme here with Oracle and the customers is, I want more and go faster. That That's seems to be the big theme. Of a you, couple dozen meetings, uh, I want more and go faster. That's exactly right. Okay, so but I got to That's totally exciting. It's better than what are you doing? Yeah. I don't know what understand. the vision is. The long term. The, I don't understand. To me. They're yeah. like, we got the strategy. We got the vision. We believe in Oracle from our past success. Let's go faster. Yeah, they get it. So they're on, the, they're on that path fast. So I got to ask you, where is the traction that you're seeing? Is it infrastructure as a service? Is it platform as a service? Is it software as a service? Where is the most traction with the ISPs right now? So I, I always go top to bottom. The number one traction we have is their application. And a lot of people are getting their app, our partners are getting their application out as a service already. So at that SaaS layer, I think our partners are leading in that transformation, just like the Oracle applications team is leading in that transformation. Underneath that is platform as a service. Now this has been a little bit newer for us over the last couple of years, but our partners are saying, we get it, we understand it. This is where I want to do more and go faster. In infrastructure as a service, that's coming on uh, to the front now. We've got a lot of partners who are ready to take their application on our platform and get it into either their private clouds or into our Oracle public cloud. And that Oracle marketplace is a really interesting destination for them because that's how they get to scale across not only the uh, enterprise customers in their local country, but across regions or even globally. Dan Miller, thanks for stopping by theCUBE and sharing your insight. I'll give you the final word. Share with the folks watching and or who will watch this on demand the message to ISVs here at Oracle Open World from Oracle, from your team, from the marketplace. What's your key message to those ISVs and partners? Oh, I think uh, uh, two messages. One is, I thank the partners who have been part of an ecosystem with Oracle for many, many years. And we're going to build on that foundational success as we go through the transformation and lead that transformation together. The second thing is, for all of our partners in the world, um, we know that ultimately it's about driving profitability in your business. I am absolutely convinced there is not a better technology partner in this industry than Oracle to fuel the profitability for our partners going forward for the next years and decades to come. Put the bumper sticker on the car for Oracle Open World this year. What does it read? Uh, first is, I love ISVs. <laughs> That's on one side of the bumper, and maybe on the front side of the bumper is, we are going to change the world in cloud together. Awesome, Dan Miller, Senior Vice President of the ISV Partners and also the Java One Go to Market. We are here live. This is theCUBE. This is our flagship program. We go out to the events, extract the signal noise, powered by SiliconANGLE Media, which is siliconangle.com, siliconangle.tv, theCUBE, and of course, wikibon.com research. We'll be right back with more after this short break.